Meet Amy Bryan, greeter at a department store outside Huntsville, Alabama. Fourteen years ago, Amy lost her left hand in a car accident. Today, her job's a little easier, thanks to a simple but unique device derived from NASA robotics technology at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Hey, Ms. Bradley, let's apply After her accident, visual. Amy was fitted with a Processes. standard prosthetic hook, as it's commonly called. She found its strap suspension system cumbersome. Putting the prosthesis on is one of the problems. How about operating your terminal device? Moving her right shoulder Opening to operate the device was painful. The and she couldn't do all she needed to with something that simply and opened and closed. And so, shortly thereafter, I just put it aside. And uh, just went back to using what I had, my, my one hand. The new devices developed for Mrs. Bradley at NASA Marshall attached to a socket which slides on easily. She works with this spatula type attachment around the kitchen. And she's come up with a number of other applications for the clip she uses at work. I'm able to do things that I have not been able to do before. And so they've just given me a little more self-confidence. Um, they've relieved a lot of pain that I was having from overuse my right shoulder. And, uh, and of course, I can curl my hair. It was Jim Carden who got NASA started on this project. An engineer at Marshall for 30 years, Carden lost his left hand in his small lumber business shortly before he retired. When I looked out there and there was nothing available but a hook, I said, it's, it's a sad case for us amputees. Carden talked to some of his co-workers at Marshall, including aerospace engineer Pete Belcher, designer Tommy Vest, and John Richardson from the Technology Utilization Office. Borrowing from robotics technology, they came up with a number of devices. Though simple, this bell-shaped attachment is one of Jim Carden's favorites. It lets him crank his fishing reel, something he just couldn't do with the hook. The project has also produced this heavy lift design, which Carden uses around his ranch and lumber business. I can still do the things I want to do and smile about it. The people at Marshall are now working on a lightweight alternative to the standard hook for small tasks around the house. Rather than the bulky shoulder harness, it is triggered by the rotation of the forearm, the simplicity of all these devices not only makes them easy to use, but inexpensive to produce. NASA is now negotiating with a rehabilitation facility to manufacture and market them. A lot of use for NASA's prosthetics project, developing simple economical alternatives from robotics technology that meet the demands of individual lifestyles. Thank you.